Yo Yo, it's Tetherd, and today I want to show you the updates for 1.21 and the functionality that's being added to the copper block. There's a lot, as you can see, that I've came up with to show you for computational redstone. This isn't actually like farm-based redstone. This is adding numbers with redstone in Minecraft. So I just basic history. Right here we got it. The new cop flop. Thank you, Mumbo Jumbo. Even though this would have been designed like five times beforehand, I feel like that's the same with any of these circuits I'm about to show you that I designed. But yes, we got a two by one T flip flop compared to the old days. Like, look at this monstrosity. It's not even solid state. Like, this is ghetto as crap. But this this guy, this guy's streamlined. So what can we do with this? Well, I went ahead and I said, well, it's essentially just a memory cell. So I made a memory cell with it. Right here, I took away the T flip flop functionality with this torch right here in this reset line. As you see, you can't toggle the state once it's on because you're not you don't want to toggle the state once it's on. You don't want to have to like if I'm writing a one, I don't want it to reset to zero. So um, read right here, we got a read line, and then we got a reset line that's only gonna work if in fact there's something down there. Honestly, I couldn't tell you exactly how this works. I I just kind of got it to work. We got a few AND gates, we got a few OR gates, and a few restrictions. So you can put these together, make a pretty small, small footprint. I mean, people have made smaller memory cells than this, but this is pretty damn cheap and this is pretty damn small. And that's what I'm going for, because the future of Minecraft computation isn't power, it's footprint. We want to make small redstone computers, we don't want to make big ones. So let's go on to the next gate. We got the XOR, if you know anything about Minecraft computers, you made one back in the day. You have seen this elongated horrible XOR before. If you don't know what an XOR is, both inputs have to, one input has to be on for it to be on. It's kind of like an OR gate, but it's XOR, so both are on, it's turning off. Right here we have another smaller XOR with the comparators. This is just a torch XOR, comparator XOR, and then the new guy, the freaking copper XOR. This this XOR is absolutely bonkers. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's, um, I guess it's a six by two because you have to have this comparator to do anything with it. Maybe it's a four by two. It's still aggressively smaller than any of these designs and more simplistic. What is this? Look at all two comparators. I mean, observers are just expensive, but as you can see, it's getting smaller. Minecraft Redstone is getting smaller. So what can we do with that XOR? We can make a full adder, we can make a half adder, we can do whatever the heck we want with this. But this is my design. As you see, we got our OR gate, or sorry, our AND gates up here with the C in, OR gate, AND gate, and then they both come to an OR gate, which is the C out. We got our two XORs. As you can see, we're just computing one right now. And if we do another one, we're gonna get it out the, out the C out. It's a little bit slow, but that's not, what I'm going with this Minecraft Redstone stuff is I want it to be compact and I want it to be cheap because if it's not able to be made in survival, what's the point? Um, just a little bit of a bigger one with four bits. This is, you know, this is pretty small for a four bit adder. Um, two plus two, or sorry, one plus one, two. Let's do five plus, this is just gonna, this is stupid. That's not even adding. Let's just do another bit flip right here and we're gonna get something. Where did it go? Did I mess up my, did I mess it up again? Am I just reading this wrong? Oh, I toggled it off. Yeah, I'm stupid. But yes, this is a fully functional, um, full adder in Minecraft with copper blocks. First one to do that, would like to claim it. Obviously, every single one of these circuits is gonna be reworked five times more condensed, but I'm gonna lay my claim and say, I'm the first one to make a copper adder, a copper full adder and a copper memory cell. So thank you so much. Um, I, I'll go ahead and just show off a little bit about this. Um, I'm not gonna, ah, I'll build that for you, but here, this is really easy. You got your um, T-flop, and then if you can't if you can't build this based off the video I just showed you right here, you, you, you need to just stop doing Minecraft. But here, I'll make, I'll make one of these just for the culture, so. Well, the video cut out, so I gotta remake it one more time, but that's not that hard because it's not a hard adder, and that's what adds back to it of, yes, very simple Minecraft redstone is probably the, the way forward into the future. So we got our AND gate right here. Then we need to take these, XOR the two inputs. Ugh, don't do that. Do not click any amount of delay on any of this because it's already slow enough. Take the output through a comparator. We're gonna have to make this into an AND gate again, so we just take that. Our C out starts right here. It goes into um, a, yeah, there we go. I had to look real quick, I'm sorry, I'm not cheating, I just had to look. Yes, we have our AND gates. Do, do, do. We gotta put this right here. Right now I'm just making the carry out. I mean, I, don't, I could explain this more, but there's no point. 
anyone that knows how this works would be able to design it themselves. And right here, we got to get our last XOR gate. Do, do, do. God, I love this XOR so much. It's so beautiful. But there we go. That's the full adder. I mean, it took me like a minute or so. Like, takes no time to make this. And it works. So, yes, thank you so much for watching. This has been Tetrid, and I'll see you on the flip side when I actually do something with this.